Okay, Dave, uh, this is my third attempt, believe it or not, to suck two sets of batteries on this car. Uh, everything looks nice, bud. Uh, upper and lower cows have been replaced. Uh, it's been smeared very flat, smooth. The, um, the upper cow is joining the lower cow just for... Uh, double check this camera, bud. Hang on. There we go. Okay, the inner fender aprons are all the original steel. Uh, it's got a new battery tray, however, there's uh, some Bondo just there where they've sort of smoothed it in for a repair underneath it, I'll show you in a second. There is also, way down on this front rail, where it uh, comes in, it's got a smear of smoothness to it that I didn't really like, and that's normally a common spot for them to get some form of rust on them, or a hole, one of the two. D it doesn't look like a hole, actually I can chuck my finger in it. That side looks fine. Um, the VIN number on it is 6T08T156969. There you go. Um, let's get that for you. Because they're brand new front uh, guards, TK810A. Okay, I'm going to show you the lower support now. On the radiator support. It's pretty banged up in here, bud. Just sort of tear. A bit rusty as well. The welds on that section there as well is not really pretty, so you might want to pay attention to that when it gets there, if you get it. Uh, upper, lower, springs, shackles, shocks, all ball joints, steering wise is all good, engine mounts are good, um, new starter, pretty well everything on the car is all new. The uh, harmonic balance of those is a little bit perished but still in good condition. Uh, a, lot, a lot of new stuff in here. You probably replace these rubbers here too. You might want to ask him if uh, you can get a new set ordered before you ship it. Or ask the fat kitty will talk, take care of it. Talk boxes are all good. Uh, a little bit of rot way up in that top corner. Just there. I'm looking at it in the center of the screen there, bud. Um, here's your repair on your battery. Uh, try and get in here. There we go. I'm looking straight up at it right now, but I'm sorry. I can't get in there closer, but it's, it's basically had a miniature patch repair where they all seem to rot out, so... Okay, tyres are all good. Um, everything looks pretty uh, pretty nice and pretty in here. Bit of a coolant leak, a uh, well, water leak coolant. Uh, it's got some oil just in there as well, mate. New radiator, hoses all look new, distributor, everything looks pretty well new. Uh, brake booster. All the brakes have obviously been redone. Hinges, pretty well every piece of steel has been replaced, he said. Okay. Now, the uh, vent needs to be screwed down there, but it's got all new uh, uh, vents and tubing and stuff. All the chrome around the car is really nice. Saw a little bit of a ding just here, um, but it's brand new. A bit of pitting on this this passenger side. The driver's side is very pitted, bud. Very pitted. Uh, new whole new rear quarter panels, um, and they've you know, sort of filled it up um, where the seams are. Doors are all in perfect condition. They're all brand new. Also, there's some rubbing just here uh, on that section. So, but I can't see any sort of rubbing on here. Whether it's been fixed up for the photos, I don't know, bud. So. Um, Center console's mounted perfectly. Uh, cows look all good with all new tubes and stuff. However, there's no connection on the, um, the heater box. Um, the other thing is too, you're missing the uh, chrome strips that run along this dash, and they're very hard to get. Uh, new chrome centerpiece with new mirrors. All the mirrors are new. The, uh, a lot of pitting on the uh, revision mirrors. The frame's been bee blasted and painted black. And it's very pitted up near the front, extremely pitted on both sides, but you can actually, that's no real biggie. Uh, convertible top's fine, and new. Don't know whether I like these. They're plastic. Different. I wonder what they cost. A um, little bit of chipping just here on this section. Both windows wind up perfectly. That's not painted. Where are we? There we go. Um, a little bit of rust that was being repaired and they all seem to rot out in the vert so it's been repaired but on the inside when my fingers are running along the channel it's all daggy so you might want to try and see what you can do to rectify that or seal it properly 
that there looked like the original centerpiece going from end to end, but it's actually a repair that it actually not a bad looking repair until you sort of get in from underneath. Okay, the tyres are all good, no uh, no damage or repairs to the inner wheel wells, and it looks quite nice in there. The um, repair to the section I'm talking about is where they rectify the the rust that comes through on these things. He's fixed it there, there as well. Also, it's not the prettiest, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's probably one of the you know section just here as well. I'm just running along the base of it here. Okay, um, now it's got an electric aerial in the back section there. That section there is where it's, it's not even been sealed, just there. New uh, trunk corner extensions replaced. I think this is also a brand new um, rear tail light panel. It looks pretty decent in here, but I noticed down in this section here, uh, you can't see it, but it's actually got some. Uh, let me get in there, where are they? You could do with a bit of seam sealer, like just there. See whether they haven't put it together too tight. Um, now, what else? We've got that section there. It's again just in there where they've done that repair. Okay, look at this sun. There we go. That's just up in the top front section near the hinge. Once again, corner extension on this side here. Okay, now you can see all the uh, section there where it sort of needs a bit of work on these corners and section. Like that. What have we got there? Okay, well I've never seen that before. But it works, so that's the main thing. Same with the other side. Normally they're just little screws like that one there. But they just used three bolts and locked them down at the front there, so... Um, cap itself is a little bit pitted. Trying to get in there close for you. Okay, let's have a look at those rails we are talking about with the photos. And there's a section there where it's been welded, uh, that's for the nut, but it's welded inside the, uh, the trunk area, the boot, uh, to screw the um, spare wheel down. And there's those welds that I was... Okay. Right. Yeah, this is the only bit I don't like. Okay. Let me get this camera sorted. There's your spot welds that I could see in the photograph. But up this back section, it's got new shackles on the back. It doesn't look rusted. Just for shits and giggles. Oh, now I can't get my finger out. Just checking. Um, okay, that section there doesn't even look like it's got a weld on it, mate. For about uh, 15, 20, 20 centimetres. So from that weld right there that you're looking at, all the way down, so there's no light, all the way down to the back, there's no weld on that side. From there, when we're looking at the first weld, second weld, and third sort of weld, I think it's penetrated, and all the way along I can't really see any, see any welds along this, so, and how far up there I can't see. This side, on the other hand, let me get in there. Okay, same with the back section. Oh, sorry if I can't get view, mate. Okay, that's where that spot is. Same on this section here. The last 20 centimetres. Doesn't look like it's penetrated, but there's spot welds the whole way along. Let me get now. We're looking at the diff. Okay, we're going to come up to the rail again. Same rail. Spot welded all the way along, but there's a little tab that's been cut out just in the middle of the screen. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, okay, sorry about this. This section here looks good. It's a nice little repair job just there. Okay, I'm getting that. The rest of the car seems okay. Uh, torque boxes on both sides are good. Rear rail, a bit banged up there from being jacked up, and the shackles on these um, uh, springs 